The video you are about to see introduces one of the latest concepts in mine emergency operations. If a miner is trapped underground and a conventional mine rescue team can't reach the miner, don't give up hope. There is another search and rescue system already available. It is called the Seismic Location System. The system uses seismic location equipment to detect and locate the source of seismic vibration. This is sounds and vibrations produced by the trapped miner or miners underground as they pound on the roof, the floor, or the rib. The seismic location system includes the seismic truck, which houses the seismic detection equipment, the auxiliary generator truck, which provides power for both the seismic truck and the supply trailer, which carries cables, geophones, refraction survey equipment, communication equipment, tools, lights, batteries, and chargers. In addition to these vehicles, there is an ATV trailer, which houses the all-terrain vehicle and utility cart used to transport supplies. The auxiliary generator truck, which provides power, uses several hundred feet of 480 volt, three phase AC cable on an electric powered reel to separate the generator from the geophones. This helps reduce background vibrations during the detection process. These are the power plugs which provide the 480 volt power to the seismic unit. The seismic truck also has a removable section which can be unloaded for air transport. Geophones, transmitters, telemetry antenna masts and tripods are used to aid the technicians in the operation of the seismic location system. This is the ATV and utility cart being used to transport supplies for the array setup. Here, the communication lines are laid out to the mine portal for tests. This is the receiving antenna for the telemetry system and communications. A surveying crew is commonly needed to locate positions for geophone placement as the system is set up. The geophones must be placed precisely to accurately locate a trapped miner or miners. MSHA has recently obtained a global positioning system which will eliminate the use of surveyors. The geophone positions can then be more quickly determined. In this scene, you see a refraction survey test being set up. It determines seismic wave velocity through the location strata. To prepare for the test, the geophones are set in the ground and covered. The technicians connect the geophone subarray to the transmitter antenna and the battery for testing the subarray's response to the seismic truck. Seven subarrays are set up in a double diamond pattern to form a full array. The distances are selected from a chart as shown here. To detect a trapped miner, the seismic locator must be able to focus in on some type of vibration. So if a miner or miners are trapped when escape is cut off, they must follow these steps. 1. Barricade. Number 2. Listen for three surface shots, then 3. Pound hard 10 times on a roof bolt or floor. Number 4. Rest 15 minutes, then repeat pounding until number 5. They hear five surface shots, which means they've been located and help is on the way. The technicians drill holes for the shot to be loaded, then the hole was tamped with explosives to perform the refraction. After the subarrays and full arrays have been put in their patterns, the charges are set. The seismic truck receives a signal of the set charge for reviewing by the technicians through various monitoring and tracking equipment such as Astro Med recorders, computers, Zetron tracking filters, and Ektron amplifiers. The Astro Med recorder gives a printout of test signals received from the subarrays. This is the Astro Med recorder viewing screen receiving a background noise signal. Zetron tracking filters are used to eliminate the power line noise. 
The Ektron amplifiers and Rockland filters are used to amplify seismic signals and filter out unwanted noise. Seismic underground test signals that are seen here on the computer monitor are also recorded on a computer printout which can be used by technicians. The seismic truck technicians use mine maps to show placement of subarray locations. Technicians maintain an event log of tests being performed for comparison of underground location data as determined by the computer program. Also, when the arrays respond, the computer plots the subarray on a grid to aid technicians in their search. The seismic location system, in addition to conventional mine rescue methods, is a way in which the use of advanced technology can aid in the rescue of miners trapped underground.